Hi, my name is Duncan Maidens and I'm going to share to you today the seventh in a series of nine videos looking at computer networking. This one looks at a switched based Ethernet LAN, which is the mainstay of our local area network connections today as of 2017. But things change rapidly, so who knows where we're going to be in another few years. So let's have a look at the animation. So we've got our computers that we want to connect together. We're going to label the computers A, B, C, D, E, F. These are their addresses. We're going to connect each to the switch. You'll notice the switch has got ports. The ports are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And within the switch there is a table which keeps a map of the ports and what addresses it finds on each port. So initially we've just powered our switch on. Let's see what happens when computer B wants to send something to computer E. It takes the data, encapsulates it, puts B to E on the front end. It goes into the switch, but the switch has no idea where E is. So it sends it out on all ports except the source port. And it obviously does get to E as well. E recognises the destination address and reads it. The more astute amongst you will have noticed that as that frame came into the switch, it was sourced from computer B and it came in on port 2. So the switch has now learnt that computer with address B is on port 2, which is a good job because as E decides to reply with an OK, it encapsulates the OK message, sends it back from E to B. The switch now learns where E is, but it knows where B is as well and can send the frame directly to the appropriate computer. The switch has now learnt that information. Over a period of time now, as packets come, frames come in and out, the switch will populate its table and learn where all the computers are and it will have a full table which is its normal operating mode. Once it does this the switch really kicks off because it can handle multiple connections simultaneously switching data in and out at great speed. We call a switch a layer 2 device because it is able to look at the layer 2 information which is this encapsulation the headers i.e. the addresses of the various devices and that's how our switch works it's a mainstay of computing LAN computing today built into all the home hubs home routers gateways whatever you call them at home and it's how we connect our computers together it's a star based network runs at ethernet or fast ethernet speeds that's 10 or 100 megabits per second although typically now we're seeing gigabit ethernet switches which are running at a thousand megabits per second. If you want access to the animations, remember they're in Scratch. All you do is go to Scratch, search for D Maidens, and you'll find my computer networking animations. Thanks very much. Bye.